Harold Washington Post 1987 Hotline TV show. This is your show, folks. But I'm going to turn it over to that fantastic commander. Bam. <laughs> Glad to have my partner back with me. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> That's him. I'd like to welcome you back to the Harold Washington American Legion Hotline. And uh, like I said, Hotline, because see that idea, we got a great show, which we have a show each and every week. And for those of you, please call in at 312-738-1060. That's 312-738-1060. And those that don't have cable, like I told you all, to follow me on Facebook and everything like that, you can, you can watch us on YouTube. Okay, uh, person of the day is a person that we work with constantly, and his name is Mr. Bruce Perry. And we're all members of CVO, which you all know what CVO means, which is Coalition of Veterans Organizations. Okay. And uh, with further ado, there you go, Bruce. Welcome Thank to the you show. for having me on, <laughs> Commander. Anthony. Good to see both of you again. Good to be seen. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to be Could seen. Could you uh, give us a little uh, background on CBO? Sure. CBO was founded back in uh, 2007, actually 2006. Uh, our founders, David Rogers who, and uh, Rochelle Crump, called together all the leaders of the veterans organizations of Chicago. About, I don't know, 60, 70 people were there at the Montfort Point Marine Association and we had a massive meeting and uh, uh, I was the only one in the meeting that didn't have an organizational position because I had just left the job and I've been busy so I wound up being the first chair of what became the Coalition of Veterans Organizations. And still they were fighting for us. <laughs> All right, there you go. And we've done a lot of things. We took buses down to Washington, D.C. We met with uh, senators and and. Uh, representatives down there and told them what was going on. We have been instrumental in fighting for the crisis hotline. We are working today on dental care for all veterans and uh, we have a veterans program that is about making health care available to all veterans without a copay, without a means test, yes. without yes. priorities of yes. any kind. All right, we are working on that. Uh, that's Women's what they health. want to hear that means program. You know, oh, get rid of that. Me, yeah, that's. <laughs> I have stories about that. Uh, we had we had a World War II veteran, a woman. She was a nurse in World War II, and she was about 90 years old. And they wanted her to take the means test. And she didn't know exactly what it was. And she went in and sat down. And when they told her she had to reveal all her finances and everything else, she got up and walked out and refused health care from the Veterans Administration because she was so, you know, taken aback by uh, what they, the invasion of her privacy. Uh, it's as simple as that. She was a veteran, World War II veteran, and, you know, that was an invasion of privacy. We're against the means test. We're against all these copay. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, and these priority uh, <coughs> systems that keep some veterans from even applying for veterans health care. Mm -hmm. We are for full equality and equity mm -hmm. of women's health care with men's health care. 17% of, uh, of the armed forces today, <coughs> active armed forces are women. A quarter of the reserves are women. Yes. And they are more and more coming into the VA for health care. Yes. And they need to have completely equal and equitable health care. And see, that's another thing we've been fighting for for quite a long time now, especially within that's the right. past eight years. Because... At, uh, all the time you hear about veterans, veterans this, veterans that, and stuff like that, which we recognize the veterans, but see, we fail to realize what is a veteran. And when you say a veteran, they think, the first thing they think about men. Mm -hmm. Wait right. a minute, what about our women? Oh, I forgot. That's right. But see, you know, they played a hell of a role in all the wars that uh, this country had. But see, they're the unforgiven. Mm -hmm. That's you right. Know, uh, forgotten uh, people. Mm -hmm. 
That's right. That, you know, been through, I mean, been through hell, been through the trenches and stuff like that. You know, That's right. whether it's nurses or whatever they did, but see, that idea, you know, they forgot about them. And that goes back to the Civil War. And, oh, and yeah, now, it goes all the way yeah. back, yeah. And now, well, thanks to Rochelle Crump and her group, you know, that the National is, Women Veterans United, NWVU, yes. yeah. Yeah, because see, now she, you know, when she first organized that, you know, women veterans wanted to, uh, a voice for themselves, mm -hmm. you know, because of that idea, all on the news you hear about homeless veterans, but you, but see, when you talk about homeless veterans, they talk about building veterans' homes, but they always talk about men, but what about the women? And their kids. And their kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now, now I'm glad that they... They should be getting more, but see the idea, they are being really recognized now. That's right. Just, you know, just like, I hate to say it like this, just like us Vietnam veterans, when we came home, we didn't get anything. That's right. You know, except for cursing or uh, whatever, how they may feel about your stuff like that. But see the idea, they have a right to get, they just do. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because, see, now the women of today is more than women of today. They're women of tomorrow to me because, see, that idea a while back, we didn't have women, Army, Marines, Air Force on the ground. And Navy. I'm talking about on the ground. Well, oh, well, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, Navy. You're a Navy fan. Well, you're a Navy fan. You better not. <laughs> no, but but see now, but see what I'm saying now. Women are out there. That's right. You know, not because see, a long time ago, you know, when I say segregation, I'm not talking about discrimination in color. I'm talking about men on ships. It was men on ships. That's right. And back in uh, '77 to '79. That's when they just stop deploying women on ships. Mm -hmm. So, you know, giving them the right. If you feel like you're uh, capable of doing this, if you have the experience, mm -hmm. go ahead on. Because, see, the idea, what, you know, now we're going back some more years, uh, women's live. And they write some stuff like that. Because the idea, when I first saw uh, right here in the city of Chicago, women were fighting for the equality to drive buses, to drive the trains and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then now with the female police officers, they only were doing desk duties. Now they out there, you know, fighting crime and stuff. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, as far as veterans, we owe you all a lot. We are appreciative of you. That's absolutely right. And uh, there, you know, women just like us, we are here to serve everyone. This is our community. Our community is not just the community that we live in. Our community is this country. There you go. So whatever and anything that you need or fighting for, you have a problem with, but well, then you have help. You have CVO, you have the American Legion, and you have other organizations. Gonna I'll give it back to Bruce. All right. <laughs> we are, you know, and National Women Veterans United is a, a founding uh, organization of, a uh, member organization of the Coalition of Veterans Organizations. Uh, as our, uh, as the, for instance, Montfort Point Marine Association as well. And um, the, you know, the other, the next thing we're fighting for is to end veteran homelessness. And we're talking about women are the growing, are the fastest growing section of that yes. with kids. And you know, uh, the problem is a lot of services that are available require somebody to come in and they get a voucher and they do this and they do that. And two weeks later, they get some housing. People need housing now. Right. Uh, we have organizations within CVO that will deal with housing now for the homeless that are facing, you know, people who are facing a situation of homelessness because that has to be dealt with tonight, particularly when you have children and things like that, uh, you know, families uh, that need to be uh, need to be put up. And there is nothing, there is nothing that is more indicting, more devastating more disgusting than homeless veterans in this country. And especially and women with kids. And especially you especially know. women with it, kids. It, it's hard. But it's see, hard. What I don't understand, uh, gentlemen, is um, 
OB uh, Dow Inc. Why OB Word sure. Why are they having such a hard time getting the capital that they need to finish that project? Politics. Politics. They are fighting. They are shame. working to it's put up uh, affordable housing in Fort is Fort Heights, yes. Yes. right? Yeah. Fort have, Heights, Illinois. They have, Fort uh, Heights. Uh, and they have faced some problem some after problem after problem. Folks, it makes no sense in America for us to even be sitting here talking about something. That should never ever happen in America when it comes to our soldiers. And not, on, not only that, you know, I'm going to piggyback off you. Mm -hmm. I can't use certain words on uh, television, yes. but see, the idea I will hold myself back, contain myself a little bit, though. But the idea is it's a shame. Well, we have a motto saying, never leave another veteran behind. Yes. Which we don't. But we fight tooth and nail for the progress of veterans all over, mm -hmm. even the homeless ones and stuff like that. But see, now what pisses me off is the idea when politics and politicians get into it and see that they can make money off of us, mm -hmm. but we don't get anything. Right. They're not back, piggyback to Dow Link and stuff. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, in uh, Ford Heights, Illinois, Here's this organization, nonprofit, fighting for veterans, and main thing is for women and their kids, mm -hmm. their children. You know, so they could have some place to live and some, and give them job training and stuff like that. Having a, them an opportunity of uh, reestablishing themselves back in society. But see, the idea they play politicians playing with them. Because the idea they see money, and they will not let her make that one step without them trying to make two in front of them. Because see the idea, like I said, they the program that she have for the veterans and stuff like that. It's like it's a it's a it's, it's a haven. Mm -hmm. It's a veterans community, and if it works out, it would be a veterans. Uh, gated community. Everything that would be right there. They would have library, they have uh, a social center, social uh, place, mm -hmm. you know, uh, social workers there, stuff like that. You know, it's be self contained, but see, it mainly be for the veterans and stuff, teaching them skills and stuff, <coughs> training and stuff. But see, with all of this, they cannot do it. And we'd be asking why. And we'd be, even with our organization, which I'm glad about the uh, CVO, because see, the idea we have, what, 28 organizations with us. Mm -hmm. And we all fight for the same thing. With all the organizations we're with, we, we're there as a whole, as one. Not just because I'm a mad collision and this person, I'm best, this person, Tuskegee, stuff like that. We are veterans first. Mm -hmm. That's why we have this organization. We sit down and we invite other organizations to join us every third Wednesday of each month at 7 o'clock. At the Jesse Brown VA Hospital, the second floor conference room. And you're every welcome. Every third Wednesday, 7 p.m. Yes, you're welcome. Jesse Brown. Because see the idea, we know about the veterans and their struggles. We try to, there's other organizations out there doing things and stuff like that. But see, our goal as for CVO, we're trying to put this into action. We don't just sit up there and talk about it, we put it in action. That's it. I'm going to ask him to put this up, Anthony. And because if you have questions about when we meet, any of the things we're talking about, Dahl Inc., Montfort Point Marine Association, National Women Veterans United, the fight against homelessness, here's the website and here's our phone number. This how, is a voicemail. How do we reach out to the veterans coming back from? Afghanistan, Iraq, Desert Storm, Iraq, 
because a lot of these uh, groups have these, well, a lot of these veterans have decided to start their own little organization. Okay, for something like that, you know, my way of reaching out for them is uh, like every, twice every uh, month, I go out there to uh, Hill Washington College okay. mm -hmm. and uh, d different other colleges. Different other colleges to try to mm -hmm. encourage the young people, you know, uh, get 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 into organization and fight. But like you said, they, you know, I can't just put my finger on it. But see, their minds up to something else because they said, "Well, I don't want to join this organization because they drink." <laughs> Look what you do, <laughs> you know. I mean, you know, but but what, but what I mean by that? But if you want something, especially you veterans. Just coming home and stuff. You all jump in school and stuff, which is right. Mm -hmm. But see, be a part of this social life that you're living in. Because see, the idea, your input help us go further on. Because see, then we'll know what the other younger people want. So we'll be set for them. You know, so we ask all these organizations, you know, the Chicago Vets and there's the Student Veterans Association and different colleges around the city and around the, you know, the whole county. And we want all of those organizations to come and join us. We are here yes. because one organization can do what many of the little ones can't, and right? And we have a program and our program is to fight against homelessness and for benefits for veterans and to end the violence. We also have a program to end the violence yes. in the streets of Chicago, the Veterans Against Violence Committee, and we have we have fought uh, for this for years, and we're going to continue on, uh, and to, you know, to end the violence. We've seen violence. We know what violence is. We know it doesn't belong on the streets of Chicago. Absolutely. And uh, just as Bruce was saying, you know, uh, different members of our organization. When I say well, our organization, I'm speaking of the American Legion and also CVO, we go out to these neighborhoods, whether, uh, whether it's the west side in Austin or Southfields or Inglewood or whatever it may be. We go out there with the community. We uh, sit up there, be, be at their block parties and stuff, trying to invest in them. That's it. Trying to tell them, you know, if you give a child something to do, then maybe the child be interested in. But see, the idea, we cannot sit up there and give a community anything without a community asking. We don't know what you want. So the idea, that's why we go out here. Just like we had the... Uh, the thing in uh, this uh, walkathon, where which which it was a 5K in uh, West Austin this past summer. Okay. You know, it was stop the violence, and it was for the veterans and the, and the Austin community, uh, bringing them together. That's it. And see, like again about homeless, shouldn't you know? I, it shouldn't be, but it is. The question why we still trying to find out. Okay. But see, the idea, whether you a veteran or not, it's still an issue that we have to deal with because see, sometimes we may know people that's out there. Mm -hmm. But see, they always say you could, you could t uh, take a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink it. <laughs> but still enough, but if we could take it and show you where it's at, you would know whenever you get thirsty, you know where to go. You want to talk about being active and doing things for veterans and with veterans. I just want to talk for a second about one of our member organizations, the Montfort Point Marine Association. Uh, this organization is there to honor the legacy and to preserve the legacy of the first African American Marines that were trained in the segregated camp Montfort Point from 1942 to 1949. And some of their, some are still alive. They're all in their 90s if they are and I have some uh, good friends that are members of uh, that are original members of the Montfort Point Marines but 
The whole organization is together and they are working to preserve their headquarters, their veterans center at 7011 uh, South Vincennes and they are calling for volunteers, for 50 volunteers to come out on Veterans Day, November 11th, that's Monday, uh, actually two weeks from today, and to help uh, work in and uh, do some restoration of the Montfort Point Marine Association. And if you have questions about that, you can call the Harold Washington Post at the number on the board, or you can call Monf the Coalition of Veterans Organizations <laughs> at this number, which we've put up, and we will give you full information. But we are looking for volunteers, and it's fun. It's fun to come out and, and give work, a hand. Give a hand. You know? Help re restore the um, uh, restore the Veterans Center. You're working with veterans, and you're and working for, for your community. Mm -hmm. Working for your community. And see this. See this is what this is what we're here for. What he just said, the community. Your community consists of a lot of things, but it's not only where you live, but where you work at, or whatever you play. Go to grocery stores and stuff like that. But see the idea? You wouldn't have a community if we wouldn't be standing together. Okay. That's what a community for for you to lend a helping hand. And, and what we want you to understand is that these veterans put their lives on the line for democracy and for the freedoms that you have to go about your business to do whatever you want. And all these veterans are asking of you is to come and show some appreciation. As they say, show your love. Show your love. Simple That's all. Right. That's all. It's not asking you to jump over this and that, or, you know, <laughs> who's going to be the first one to leap over this building and stuff like that. It's not like that. You know, all we asking is, you know, as they call it, give back. Mm -hmm. give, give something back to your community. That way you will feel proud that you have done something. People can say, oh, look, then you can admire this. You can stick your chest out and say, I have, I have to do this. That's right. And this is your community. And you know, we, we want to put out an appeal to all of these veteran organizations that's out there. We need you to come back home to CVL. That's right. That's what you need to do, come back home. Because CVO is only as strong as you participate. And that's why they call it CBO, right. Coalition, Coalition of Veterans Organizations. Yes. You can't be no stronger than that. That's right. The word speaks for itself. A coalition means multitude of people. Yes. You know, different veterans organizations, people that care. And we have individual members as well. We have organizational members, many right. of them, but we have individual members who participate yes. on a regular basis uh, as well. And, uh, you know, we invite you all to come out. I'm just going to repeat it. Uh, the commander already said, but I want to make sure it sinks in. We meet the third Wednesday of every month at 7, 7 p.m. At the Jesse Brown VA Medical Center at 820 second South floor. Damon, second floor. Free parking. We Nine validate you parking. Yes. Park in the garage, come on in, get it validated, and then come on up to the meeting. Meetings are short, and they are very lively. And a and, uh, uh, word, uh, word of knowledge for this, wisdom also. You know, we talk about CVO, Vet Coalition of Veterans Organization, but guess what? You don't have to be a veteran. Right. No, we have non-veteran you know, members. That's yes, correct. you could just uh, see if this is what we keep talking about, the community. That's right. You don't have to be no veteran to help us. That's right. And another thing, too, Commander, folks, we have free food. That's oh, right. Lord, have no, food. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have, food. We have free go. food. Let's stand in line. Food and no. right. Also, there you we go. have drinks. Wait a minute, now what he said out there, we're talking about water now. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about we don't have to do that. No martinis. <laughs> <laughs> But we have a good time. We talk about really important issues, and we want you to come out and join us. When you have a fun time, flat. That's it. Bruce. Absolutely. Thank you oh, very man. much. You know it. <laughs> My pleasure, and I, this is awesome. I love Until it all. Until 
Until, Until next, time. next time, next week, we will be right here at the you say same time, same place, same best station. <laughs> <laughs> but we want you to enjoy yourself and think about Shout it. Shout out to our good technician, Jack. He's back in the first lady. Hey, hey, hey. And <laughs> hey, we can't forget you, Sylvia. Sylvia. Right